Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Taurus abstract shape in Spline. Spline is a new 3D software that can achieve similar results as Cinema 4D and it doesn't have any rendering time. So if you are animating or exporting, you don't need to wait hours to render the files, it just does it instantly. And the menus are also simplified, it looks like Figma's menus and, you know, it does a pretty great job. Uh, I'm going to show you the menu, by the way. So when you start a program, this is what, uh, this is what it's going to be the default. And here are so also you can see the library, you can view all and you also can select something and just check it out what's going on there. I'm going to go back to the my file, click here on the new file and it's just going to start with a blank piece of paper. If I press and hold alt, you know, I can also rotate this. Anyway, just deleted that. Let's just go here to the little plus, click on it, and here it should be. So we got this Taurus. We don't need that Taurus. We have the Taurus knot. So click on it, press and hold shift plus alt. So by, by the way, the shortcuts are almost the same shortcuts as in Adobe Illustrator. Like most of them are really, really similar. So we got the knot here, the knot, knot. Anyways, I don't know how to say. Uh, with this, we got the shape menu right here. We also can make it thinner or thicker. I'm gonna leave it somewhere around 40-ish. And we got the path sides, which actually you're gonna see if I pull this down, you're gonna make it less curvy. You know, it's gonna make it more squared. If I pull this up 100, so this is the blending. That's, for example, in Adobe Illustrator, if you add a thousand, then you're gonna make it smooth. Same thing, it's applied here. I'm gonna add, for example, a thousand and it's gonna smooth it out, you know. Okay, so we got the form. We're gonna play around with the factor P and the factor Q. So I'm gonna pull the factor Q, as you can see, on five and start to create a, a more dense knot. I pull this on seven. It's gonna create like eight of these and from here right now it's like a you know it's straight if i modify the factor p i increase this as you can see it's gonna twist it so it's like super straight on one and boom two three four you can decrease the size i can increase the factor q even more it added even more there you go you also can rotate this by the way by pressing and holding the alt button and just press and hold the click you know the mouse and you can see that it's going to rotate this and you can modify the texture you can modify the colors so we get the lightning going on which is this so you can change it to lamber you can change it to it was on fong physical it's more sharp tune so this was this trick here the color you can play it around you can put like texture in it but i don't know how you can click on it and check this out you're gonna appear loads of textures in here but right now i just discovered this thing so i still need to experiment with that okay i don't want the texture i'm gonna check out the color you can change the colors also it's gonna show like the trendy colors in here let me go to the depth oh yeah I tried out also the depth which uh, you know makes puts a really interesting shadow on it so as you can see I rotate this this uh, top area it's going to be light anyways and the back part is going to be dark you also can reset all, reset all, so it's gonna put it to the front or you can, you know, activate from this. You can put it to the top, bottom, back, or front. I'm gonna leave it on the camera right now and choose some other color with that. And change the black. You also can decrease or increase the near and the far. If I increase the near, check this out. I'm gonna decrease the far, so it's gonna melt it together or separate the colors. But it's gonna work the same way. For example, this area is the light area, so this part is gonna make it uh, pink and the darker area should be like the blue. 
So it's uh, really interesting. As you can see, it's really easy. These options I never ever explored. This is the first time I, I am freestyling this and I'm just discovering these. So I'm gonna click it back. Uh, this is not what I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna change it to from depth to normal. You also can add like more effects by clicking plus. Actually, I'm gonna do that instead, you know, just click on the plus and see, put it on normal. So this was the trick. You put it on normal and the normal's default is this peerless chant. Peerless chant? I don't know, man, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna make this really colorful. And basically this is how I achieve that. I can add another plus and just change it from normal. Let's check it out. So this is the gradient, interesting. Wow, dude, look. Radio, oh yeah, we got the radio as in the Photoshop or Polar. So yes, you can see you got a lot of stuff going on. You got noise. You can decrease the noise, you know, so it's gonna be more transparent or you can also change. Change it to multiply screen and overlay. As you can see in Photoshop, in Illustrator, we got a full menu for with, with like 12 options here which you can apply and uh, right here we have only four. I can add another plus. <laughs> I don't know. Um, noise press. No, what is that? Oh my God, this is really good, by the way. I'm going to remove the noise. It adds this glowy kind of effect. It's really beautiful. I tried this out once. I'm going to click on this and going to decrease a little bit the bias. If I decrease it to zero, so basically this is the default. If I increase it, look at that, it's gonna glow. Same thing as in, in, in Photoshop. So the options are like super similar. And this thing makes it like really, really easy to work with. So I'm gonna add another one. We gotta add the matte cap. What is that? I don't know what is that. As you can see the texture here. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, wow. I didn't knew this can be done here. Look at that, this is gold. Wow, <laughs> can't believe it. So we got all kind of materials, we got this. Wow, look at that. This is insane, guys. Check this out. Wow, I'm mind blown right now. So uh, again, I don't know if I was on this option because I can see the textures right here where I didn't saw these before. I'm gonna leave it on this. I'm gonna click back, click on plus. Let me try it out. Uh, matte cap displace. Oh yeah, and this is the displace, which is, oh my God, this is going to distort actually. Look at that. If I increase the m movement, I think. All right, it's gonna make it like that. Let me scale this up. So if I scale it up, oh yeah, this is the trick. But now it looks like uh, from the movie um, Venom. Look at look at this thing. Wow. So uh, I don't know uh, when I started this tutorial, but uh, you know, in a few minutes, I just done this crazy stuff, you know, with all kind of crazy tricks. So yeah, this thing has a lot more uh, potential in it. So I'm gonna explore in the upcoming weeks and uh, you know, upload some more tutorials. So yeah, so far so good. This is it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with updates. Also check out the other videos as well. Have a good one. Bye bye.